Hey everybody, Mike Brailsford with Brailsford Works. Thank you for joining me back in my shop today. I appreciate it. Today, I'm piling on. And by that I mean, as if I didn't have enough stuff that I did, I've decided I'm taking on walking sticks. Yep, here I go. So, uh, I've got 20 acres where I live and um, it had been logged, I don't know, I don't know, about 15 years ago, I guess, parts of it. And um, my front where I had the house built, um, there's a mixed growth between, um, they left some pines that were still fairly large. Uh, and then there's hickories that range, you know, from saplings up to uh, probably 15 years old. And there's some, uh, some blackjack oak, uh, there's some swamp oak, there's some pin oak. Um, and... Um, you know, there's just variety, some white oak. And uh, I've burned my undergrowth last year around this time. And I found out in the fall that a lot of the saplings that were there had been killed. So this winter I've been out culling those out. <clears throat> and I can only use so much firewood here. And I've got a huge pile already. And, uh, and I'm cutting up some of these saplings. And I thought to myself, you know, these are nice hickory hickory saplings it's a shame to let them go to waste so heck let's do something with them so i'm gonna try some walking sticks now uh, i've watched a lot of people make these on youtube now uh since i've decided this um i'm these are going to be fairly no frills i got got one here i got the bark off of and i'm going to clean it up sand it i might make a recess somewhere up here for a hand grip and I might put on some paracord on the grip, but uh, a light sanding and then a coating of some kind of finish is all I'm going to do. And I'm going to call it quits with that. Um, just add something for the craft sales. So here we go. Okay, so I've got it 
got the first uh, sanding done on it, which was a 40 grit, which is to remove, take the edge off of some of the facets. But you know what? This is meant to be used. I'm not going to worry about every scratch, every little nick in here. I want it to look like uh, something that's going to be used out there. I'm not a carver, so I'm not going to carve anything. Um, I'm going to, I will put a paracord wrap on the handle. Um, and this first one will go to my wife because we go hiking out in our woods and she always asks for a stick. She has one that she's just picked up and I think uh, I'm going to give her something a little bit better. So I'm going to sand it through, I don't know, maybe 120 grit and that'll be about it. And uh, then I'm going to coat it. A lot of these guys use a uh, um, spar varnish, something like that, but I'm just going to coat it in teak oil. Again, because um, I'm, I'm not looking for it to be shiny or anything like that. And uh, I think the teak oil will be give it some uh, weather resilience and just darken it up a little bit. So here we go. got this thing sanded to 180 grit which I think is going to be plenty and now I'm going to put some teak oil on it time for the teak oil sit for a minute or two and then I'll wipe it down then I'll come back after and I will work on the paracord all right so I'm ready for the handle I'm the use paracord handle I'm by no means an expert at this I'm a rank amateur I've seen it several times and let's give it a go so you start with your paracord you wrap a, a short end over the top Come back on the top side, what would be the top side of the handle. Wrap back over the top of it, going on the bottom side. Come back around underneath, and then back under the, the piece you just put. And you tighten it up. And that is a clove hitch. And you leave yourself enough to come all the way down here. And then you can push it down. And then the next thing you do is, is half hitches uh, and you're gonna do those all the way down. So what you're gonna do is you take your your paracord, turn it counterclockwise to make a loop, go over the top, bring it down, capture that little tag piece, make sure it pulls through, and pull it tight. And just do it again. Make sure you're always turning the same direction, counterclockwise. Capture the string. Tighten it up. Counterclockwise. Over the top. Capture the string, the tag. And tighten it up. And you'll develop a, a spiral pattern with the paracord as you go along. And then I'll just keep doing half hitches all the way to 
until I get to the top and keep tightening it. And push them down so they're nice and tight together. And keep that straight. Push it. Keep pushing it down. And keep, keep keep it tight. I cut myself about 12 feet of paracord. I hope it's enough. <laughs> it should be. It's on. I think I'm over halfway there. This is a basic handle. I've seen there's there's several there's so many things you can do with paracord. Different handle styles you can do. And you know I, I just want to keep this one as simple as possible. Alright, so we're within a few wraps of the end, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the tag, what's left, using some diagonal cutters. Snip it, then I'm just going to hit it with my lighter, then, and then I'm going to finish my half inches, a few more loops. it off. You pull it nice and tight. You cut it about an eighth of an inch out. I'm going to use my diagonal cutters for that. Melt it. And then squish it down with a pair with a flat end screwdriver and that will never come undone there we go this is not the prettiest one this is uh, a first go at it but it will do the trick all right so I'm going to do a second one let's see how it comes out Alright, that one actually came out better than the last one. If I did a few more of these, I'll really get the hang of it. So that's it for today. Nothing fancy by any stretch of the imagination. 
but I think this is a very serviceable walking stick. Uh, no one would have a, should have a problem using one going out for a hike. It's meant to be used. It's not meant as a work of art right, by any stretch of the imagination, but it's hickory, it's tough, and it'll do the job. Nice paracord handle. Um, which I could get better at all the time if I just kept it up. Yeah, because that one came out actually pretty darn good. I'm pleased with it. Okay, thank you all for watching. If you think you've gotten out of anything out of this, uh, some uh, a good laugh from the amateurish nature of my work, as far as these go, uh, have at it. Um, please click like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And as always, please stay safe. Everyone have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you.